<laughs> I couldn't see, I think he was saying. But man, Brockman the target, over the top was Gill, Ablett was strong at the ball, shrugs the tackle, he's pushed down, advantage to Wall, no, will it be? Chatfield, oh, good no, man. it's Gardner, been pretty quiet, he's got loose men, Johnson, Steve, good mark, brought down two, but maybe lucky is Buchanan. David Mintz says, steady, steady, Steve Johnson, have a shot. Well, there were three Borough players going for the mark on that kick from the back line, and they should have marked it. One of them should have marked it, or they should have got cover. They're all Stay caught in the guys. contest. In. Port just two behind this quarter. Geelong. They've come from 14 points down the kick three. Johnson gives it his all. It's on the line, still in play. Loose ball. Is there a foot there? It's Mintz. Oh, David Mintz. That's a brilliant goal. He might have clicked from the flag of that early days, but he's kicked his third, two in this quarter, and that is great, Phil. Well, it's a match-winning goal, isn't it? Bennett's had his measure all day, but he's just slipped away, and Bennett not with him on that occasion. He went off on the blood rule. But certainly, look at Mintz here. Oh, over the shoulder, and Bennett's just there watching. And the floodgates are opening for the Cats. 18 minutes in, and they're looking very dangerous. What's that? Four goals, three they've added in this last quarter to two behinds. Bartell at full stretch. Chatfield couldn't take the mark. We're on the 50. <laughs> I'll let it go for a fair while. Now Port need two goals to win. Past the 19-minute mark last quarter. Everything going the Cats' way. The last two goals, Port, were miracle goals. Fifth from the boundary and uh, Gill from that uh, soccer volley. And you think if blokes are going to be kicking goals like that, it's nearly going to be your day. Mitch gets oh. the hand pass away and Steve Johnson... Oh. It. Gee, that's fantastic play. You've got to take your head off to Minch, really, Drew, don't you? Because he's been held, and it's just a great thing to see the bloke come good like that, isn't it? When it was really tight, I see Rob Holes there in the crowd too getting excited. He's a bit nervous at half-time when I spoke to him. I don't know if you heard, Ross, they were considering retrospective legislation if they lost, but he, he won't have to think about it now. That was great play. Not unless there's a miracle. 20 minutes on the clock. Momentum all with the Cats. Can Port mount one last charge? Two key players, McPherson and Philandia, off the ground, injured. Sunquist in inclusion. He oh. has it stolen by Kelly. The Cats are hot. Oh. Off goes Gill. He spills it. It's a loose one for Gardner. He's away from O'Loughlin. Oh, Suspect gone. letting hand pass. Oh, oh gone. Men's coming through like a trainer's clip. Gill he high. Well, on the base of that, it should be a 50-metre penalty, I would have thought. It's after the ball. After the ball is over. Yeah. And Evans with a free kick. Little short one into Buchanan. Tried his heart out. Luke Ablett, maybe a target. Robertson. Bennett's up there. Robertson goes short. Ablett goes wide. That's the direction. Or is it? It's Stevens with the three cats there. Oh. But Stevens got maybe got the second grab. Bartell's got him. Didn't look to me like he had it. It didn't really, did it? No, I think. Yeah. 21 on the clock. Oh, it's amazing, isn't it? In 1980, Ross, we played Port out at the junction. We led all day and they stormed home in the last 10 minutes, just like the Cats are doing. One by a kick and a half. And the Borough is on the receiving end of that right now. Street is being penalised if Chapman's not allowed to go, and he isn't. Gives it straight to Bennett. Doesn't run across the in front of him. The man on the mark, 52 metres from goal. Port trail by 17. Bennett's going to try and go the distance. Good hook, right to the line. And oh, Ross behind. McGrath says, I touched it. He's been inspirational, this Blake Bennett. I mean, Mench has got on top of him, but if that had just snuck through, what a goal it would have been. Chatfield kicks in. McGrath takes the mark. And you have to think about all those Geelong supporters, and we had a cutaway of the crowd a short time ago. 
<laughs> all the heartbreaks they had down at Geelong. The grand finals under Malcolm Blight and then Gary Ayres and they kept on losing them all. And at last Geelong looked like they might get a premiership here in the VFL. Comes to the front. Wool knows the hand pass away. Bartels. Bartel, the kick short of half forward. Bounces awkwardly. Picked up by Obst. Out wide to the boundary line, Sunquist. And he's taken over the line by Kelly. And the Cats fans are starting to celebrate now. Oh, aren't they ever? Malcolm Blight had him in three grand finals. They lost by a little bit, a, a reasonable amount, and a hell of a lot in the three. And Gary Ayres as well. So, been frustrating times, but the best thing about this is that these kids have had some experience at AFL level and won't Mark Thompson be licking his chops with the players that he'll have for the next year or two or three at Geelong. Bennett. Whoa! O'Loughlin playing it right out, Ricky O'Loughlin! Well, he probably should have laid the tackle, you know, but he went for the big bump. It wasn't bad. Poor. Yeah, that was nice and fair. You couldn't complain about that. <laughs> Kelly has a whistle. Yeah, Kelly had the ball. Yeah. 16 points the difference. It had been 16 Portsway earlier this quarter. But the Cats have stormed home in the last quarter. A punch by Obst. Mench has been outstanding in the last term. White from near the boundary line. McCarthy's hardly taken a mark all day and can't mark this either. Punched away from him. Comes to Buchanan. Eases out of defence. Kicked by Buchanan to centre wing. Bartell! Mark of the day, James Bartell. Uh, look at those Cat supporters out there, Drew. They are going mad with excite excitement. They've got plenty of them here today. That's a great grab. Yeah, he stretched every one of those 184 centimetres, Phil. <laughs> he did. He, on his 186 when he took it. Yeah. <laughs> Kicks to 50 and Bennett takes the mark, stretching over Mitchell White. Oh. Hasn't given up. Been superb. He's been a Goliath. It's just astounding performance by him. Even though Mench, to his credit, has bobbed up in the last quarter with a couple of match-winning pieces of work. Short to O'Loughlin. Inside Robertson. O'Loughlin feigns a hand pass. Kicks long. Looking for Stevens. McGrath worries it, him out of it. Loose ball now. The race is on. Pushed to the line by Hunt was good. Louis McGrath going like a train. And in front of those rapturous Geelong supporters, draw great applause. Whew. 25 and a half. Hunt in the hands of the trainer. Perhaps he's having hamstring spasm or whatever. Perhaps he's having apoplexy. Not his hand. He just was very sore last week, cramped. He's cramping in the calf, I think, Josh Hunt. Street there in the ruck. Young Michael Ricks with him. Could finish up being a legend in the game, Peter Street. Down, looking for Chatfield. Buchanan, two on one with Chatfield. Buchanan still there, got a high tackle, ducked the heads of the umpire. Robertson paddles it out. O'Keefe over the top. No chance for Ablett, got the hand pass, O'Loughlin, clear space. Ignores Robertson, good smother Chatfield, but still O'Loughlin. Oh. Wrong foot kick into Gill on the 50. Gives it to O'Keefe. Goes for the long one. Four, two on Stevens. two. Is there a mark? Oh, there is. Gervis takes the mark in the front of the pack. Just reached that point where the Cats are just not going to let it slip, you reckon, now. Had to do better, O'Keefe, than that. Yes, with just... such a good kick, Drew, you'd think he would have pinged that, wouldn't you? This is David Johnson. Approaching the 27-minute mark of the last quarter. A fantastic grand final in the VFL. What a final series it has been. McGrath, outstanding, unmarked at halfback. Runs it to the centre of the ground. Ablett, hand pass away. McCarthy, another one coming up for the Cats. It's away to Gardner. And Charlie Gardner kicks another one. Well, they've been unstoppable. But I think, Drew, I did say it. I thought if they got into the last quarter and Port didn't have a big enough lead, I thought the pressure would be too great for them, you know, because 
They've just got a full book of players. Port with those two players missing really struggled to rejig the side and, and find an attacking manoeuvre. They had to kick goals, the borough. They just haven't been able to. And the Cats and the roar of the crowd. It's been fantastic, hasn't it? The crowd have been so involved in the game. 11,500 seeing the Cats win their first flag of any kind since 82, a VFL Reserves flag. Likewise, Port looking for their flag. Street got it out of the middle. Mench couldn't grab it. De Luca. Evans has been good. O'Loughlin still finding space, still running. O'Keefe leads wide. O'Loughlin prefers to go back into the middle. Looking for Ablett, but chopping it off. Well, almost was David Johnson. Ablett gives it to Evans. Evans from 50. Evans goes long. He tied kick. He should have handed the ball off, too. He made a big error there. He should have handed the ball off. I think that was, was a Buchanan who was running alongside him. I'll tell you in a minute. Magrada Johnson. Port led by 14 points at three-quarter time. Kicked a couple of behinds early. And the siren started to sound, but <laughs> with the timekeeper got nervous on the button. It's not the Geelong flyer, is it? <laughs> Yes, they kept them goalless, Drew, in the last quarter. Kept <laughs> they the played the wrong theme song. They played Port's theme yeah. song for July's <laughs> Premiership, and they hurriedly got rid of that. <laughs> and here we go. Oh, they're pretty excited, so they should be. Great game, full of suspense. Behind at three-quarter time, the Cats.